Hey, what's up? My name is Koyla Tay, and these are going to be five things that help me get out of a mental rut from my bedroom or from my bed. Um, I have a studio apartment, so my bedroom is like my whole apartment, but yes. Um, I deal with situational depression and anxiety, and it comes to a point where I don't, I just don't want to get out of bed and I feel like crap. Um, today I was having a sad day, not necessarily in a mental rut but it was reminding me of just doing those things to take care of myself so I can get the motivation to hopefully get out the bed. Now, I'm not a doctor. This isn't based on necessarily like some sort of scientific article I read. And if you need professional help, go get a therapist or you know, search for someone that can help you get into a better mental place. So I call this the five senses method. The purpose is pretty much to initiate or ignite all your five senses to help you get the motivation to get out the bed and hopefully start doing something or to just boost your mood briefly. So the five senses are hearing and sound, taste, smell, feel or, or touch, and sight. So I'm going to go in that order. So the first, well, the first thing before you do any of this is open the fucking window. If you're staying in the bed, you know, you're sitting in your sweat, sitting in your juices, probably smells crazy in your room or your apartment or whatever. Like the first thing that's trying to do is bring some sunlight in or bring some sort of natural light in. Even if there's like, it's not a sunny day, like just open the window. Like that's, that's your first step before you do any of this stuff. Next is going to be starting with the first sense of hearing and sound. So what I like to do is play music. So I would type in Jack Harlow, Tiny Desk, and I will watch that video like every morning because I just knew it was gonna put me in a good mood and it just triggers that thing in my brain to experience joy. Something else you could do for hearing and sound is listening to an audiobook on a topic you like. Something else you could do is call a friend or a family member and it doesn't have to be like a whole conversation necessarily, just like, you know, inform someone if you feel comfortable of the situation you're going through and just be able to listen to someone's voice to, you know, just hear something to get yourself like out of your own head. Like that's the whole purpose of that. So sparking some joy and you're trying to get yourself out of your own head from the situation you're in. I've recently had to go through this process with a breakup that I had. And so music for me was the best way to get through this process. After igniting your hearing and sound, I would recommend going to taste. These aren't in any particular order, but this is just how I handle the situation. So for taste, something the easiest thing you could do is go brush your teeth and pick a toothpaste that you like enjoy. I use Arm & Hammer. I feel like it's the best for me because I know it's what I like, not just, you know, what's laying around. Something else you could do for taste is to have something sweet, such as like a smoothie or, you know, eat some fruit. You could simply drink water or you could drink tea. Tea can be a natural antidepressant depending on what kind of tea you get. Look it up yourself. I don't know any of that stuff off the top of my head. But yes, after you, you got the music playing or you got something going on in the background, you're igniting your taste buds with whatever method you choose. Now we're gonna go into feel or touch. So this for me is more of like just changing the temperature, literally. <laughs> you could say like, you know, we use words like we're cold when we're in like a certain mood or we're hot when we're in a certain mood. So what you could do is either get like a hot or cold washcloth and not just like lukewarm or luke cold that thing i don't know but actually get like a hot or a cold washcloth that's gonna kind of shake you up alternatively like i know when i'm depressed i don't like to bathe necessarily but you could take a hot or a cold shower i know cold showers definitely shock me and like while you're taking a cold shower like the only thing you're going to be thinking about is like the discomfort and how to get back to your comfort. Not necessarily whatever that mental thing is that you're ruminating about. Some other simple things that you could do is just grab some ice or like a frozen bag of vegetables from your freezer and put it on your body. Just anything that will literally like change the temperature on your body in a localized place, like in somewhere specifically. You could just hold the ice in your hand. You could do all of these together. You could be listening to music, brushing your teeth and holding ice in your hand at the same time, or you can do them all separately. Next one we're gonna get into is smell. So even if you know, you're know you not taking like a shower or anything, you could like put on some lotion that smells good. Or like, and I'm gonna like hit the head on it being like your favorite lotion, even if you're not going out. Or you could even like just spray some cologne or perfume like in the air, not, not directly on you, cause then you're gonna smell like it throughout the day unless you want that. 
but but yeah um you could light a candle for smell just anything that's going to change part, a part of your actual environment another more complex thing regarding this could be to cook something it gives you an activity and it's going to change the smell of the area and also you could feed yourself if you have an appetite when i'm depressed and i have anxiety i don't want to eat so that wouldn't really work for me necessarily but you know find out what works for you and the last thing is sight so I put this at the end because it tends to take up a bit more like attention. One way you could do this is by going on YouTube and if you're into those motivational videos that are like, you are a badass. You can accomplish anything you want. I bring money into my life. Like saying all the affirmations and stuff. If that works for you, you could put that on. You could also alternatively, I feel like education is a good way to get my mind in a better place so i would put on a video about something that like a topic i'm interested in learning about such as like personal finance or whatever and the purpose of the video is not for you to pay attention to the video but to have something to like distract you almost alternatively you could put on a movie i would not i would recommend something that's like funny or maybe something that's scary i don't know it kind of depends on the thing but something that can actually like take your mind off something like don't watch a wrong if you're going through a breakup like don't watch a romantic movie you know something like that like comedy can really take your mind off of things because you're laughing and scary movies are like suspenseful so i don't know it depends on you but yes watch a youtube video so the educational a movie you could read something you don't necessarily have to be properly consuming the material at this point you're just trying to read like a page or two of a book that you just that you see sitting around that you've always wanted to read and you're just like oh let me just try it out like literally just read like a page or two or you could also just put on like a fireplace video or something with like changing colors just to like stimulate your eyes while you're just sitting down and even while you're thinking about the situation so those are examples of something that you could do in all the five senses um, I feel like, like I said, this is just something that I drew to when I'm like really in a depressive state. It's something that you could do like really simply. And I know that for a lot of people, they'll like overthink it. Like I just gave you a bunch of options of things to do. So I'm gonna list one thing from each of the categories. And if you're going through something right now, like just try and do them. So open the curtains or the window to let in some natural light or some fresh air if the weather is decent. For hearing and sound, type in an artist that you really like that keeps you upbeat and literally put in this artist 2024 new hits playlist and put on a playlist not only one song plays so it goes on in a loop for taste go in the bathroom and brush your teeth even if it's just like putting a toothpaste in your mouth i know when i'm in a really bad place i don't even want to brush my teeth but just like just put a little bit like in your mouth get a washcloth and put some cold water on it and then put that washcloth on your face grab some lotion and rub it all on your body not like just your arms not just your legs like rub it all on your body and try and lather up a decent amount and finally go on youtube and look up a video about a topic that is really like interesting for you that you want to learn about so for example if you like to draw type in how to draw cartoon features or something like that and again, this is not like a scientific method to cure depression, but this is literally what I just do to help me get out of the bed. Sometimes after I do this, I just wanna get back in the bed and cry. And that's, you know, okay, depending on the day. And sometimes after I get to the third thing, so say like I listen to the music, I brush my teeth, and then I wash my face. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm already in the bathroom. Let me go take a shower. Oh, I'm already up. Let me go kind of cook something. So it either can be something that's temporary to just give your senses like a bit of joy and then you get back in the bed and then you have to like kind of like repeat the process but at least you got out the bed to do something instead of just staying there or it could keep the ball rolling for you to want to continue to be productive don't rush yourself give yourself grace you know whatever you're going through you're going to get through it like this is only temporary a temporary feeling that you're going through and most of the time it's going to get better so I hope that was informational. These are things that I do to help myself get out of a mental rut. If you have anything that you do, put it in the comments for anybody that's watching the video and might read the comments and they need, you know, some other sort of advice. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and have a great day.